Hey Eric, thanks for reaching out. I wanted to put this quick video together, kind of give you some tips and tricks on some pointers to possibly bring in some new clients and better rank your website. There's three things that I'm going to go over. Content, citations, and backlinks. So we'll get into what all of that is. I always start with content. With Google, content is king. We recommend about 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. You know, the overall layout that you have looks good, but there's not much content on here. The reason we want to get that content in there is so we can organically fit those keywords and keyword phrases that people are looking for on Google into the content on your site. It's not the only way to get ranked for a particular keyword, but it's the fastest and easiest way for Google to find them and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. You know, this is one of the top ranking guys that I found in the area. And, you know, scrolling down through the site, as you can see, you know, they got a paragraph here, another one down here. You know, still not a ton of content, super easy to beat out. I would say 95% of the websites I look at are short on content. But Arif's is one of the tools we use to really break these sites down. Right now, you're showing up for one organic keyword and car detailing Hamilton, Ohio. There's 20 people a month searching for that, but you're in the 44th position, which is the fifth page. So nobody's actually finding the site yet. It may be a fairly new site. It does take time for these tools to catch up and you know go through everything. You know They're trying to crawl every website out there, so it takes a while to get it done. But if we go over here and look, you know these guys are showing up for 26 keywords. So they've got Premier Auto Detailing, which I don't really count because that's their company name. So these ones that say Premier, those people are already looking for these guys. But um, like Auto or Car Detailing, Hamilton, Ohio, 20 people searching for it. You know, these guys are in the 11th position. You know, as you can see, they're not ranking super high for anything either. But, um, you know, Car Wash, Oxford. Auto Detailing Cincinnati, I don't know if you go that far, but there's 150 searches a month for that. You know, Car Detailing Cincinnati, there's 90 searches a month for that. So those are the type of keywords I like to see. I call them generic keywords. They say what you do and where you do it. So like I said, I'm not sure if you go to those areas, but it is something we could look into. Um, the third thing would, or the second thing would be your citations. Let me get this back to the overview real quick. You know, I typed in auto detailing Hamilton, Ohio, and you see the first thing that comes up right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. And if you scroll down into the organic stuff, you know, there's not a ton of competition. You know, we've got a lot of directories and things like that in here, and then we've got a couple of Facebook pages, and then we have these Premier guys. So they're not killing it. It wouldn't be hard to beat any of this stuff out. But you want to get your Google My Business page set up and get that verified if you have not done so. And that is what's going to help you get up into this map pack. Once you get that verified, you want to start adding citations. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number, exactly the way it's listed on your Google My Business page, put into multiple directories across the internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of these directories out there. And the more of those you get into, the better chance you have of getting up into this map pack section. The third thing would be your backlinks. And currently you're showing up for two. But what a backlink is, it's any website that has a link that points back to your website. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, and the more authority they're going to give your page. That being said, not all backlinks are created equal. You want to avoid the spammy type of topics and try to keep your backlinks relevant to the industry or the area that you're in. So some of the ways to get backlinks would be some of your citations are actually backlinks. There's blog commenting you can do, guest posting on blogs. There's lots of ways to do it. If you're going to go the blog route, you want to keep those relevant to the industry or the area. So find auto detailing blogs or at least automotive related blogs. You know, read up on some articles, post a comment in there, put a link back to your site. Some of those will give you backlinks. Um, so like I said, there's lots of ways to do it. But if you go over here and look, these guys have 23 backlinks. So we can go in here and see where they're getting their backlinks from. Like this looks like, you know, City Lifestyle Cincinnati. That could be like a, a community type of blog. 
Um, you know, it looks like they got several things down through here from logo or something. But we can go in and look at these backlinks. Check the power and the authority of these pages. Make sure they are the type of backlinks we would want on your site. And we go to these same places and try to get backlinks for you. I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's got the most, copy the ones we want, go out and get some more on our own, beat this guy to his own game. So that is my basic overview for you. Um, hope that helps you out. You know how to find me if you got any questions, and I will talk to you later. Thank you for your time.